Well, hello, everyone. Um, today, I would like to share some insights with you that uh, came to me this week while I was um, contemplating Gene Key 57. Um, those of you that are involved in the Gene Keys may be well aware of what is called the Delta. And if you're not familiar with Gene Keys and the Delta, the Delta is a group of people that gather together for a particular number of weeks to contemplate uh, specific gene keys. And each week your gene key uh, changes. And this week, uh, my gene key position seven was 57 and the gene key of uh, unease, um, intuition and clarity. And I had some great clarity come to me and clarity and confirmation. And um, my insights have come around the nature of thinking. And bear with me as I weave through this, um, because although I have clarity in my mind and I understand it fully in my being, in order expressing it may be uh, much more difficult. So listen at your own risk. So, I also did an oracle session on the nature of thinking. And I did want to share this because this is all about thinking. I wanted to share the findings with people about thinking so that you guys can give yourself a break about thinking, about overthinking, because it's all okay. It's just whether we get attached to the thinking. So where do I even begin? So I guess I could just start with um, what, what came out of the oracle session part of the oracle session is that there are different qualities of thinking based on where the thinking originates from so let's just back up a little bit and we know that we have the lower vehicle the lower body with its mental and emotional body that's the lower vehicle and it possesses a type of thinking Obviously, as you know from the gene keys, that level of thinking is mostly based on fear and separation, right? Conditioned thinking. And then we have the causal body level of thinking. And it has its different qualities. And then we have the monadic self, which has different qualities of thinking. And what I want to express uh, to you is that the monadic self, which happens to correlate to the position seven of this jinky that I'm contemplating this week, uh, um, is that the monadic self is your innermost being. It is your beingness. And the monadic self is the self or an extension of the one self. And it is, it is, the, it is the one thinking and it is sending impulses or trying to send impulses down. It sends impulses of thinking down through itself, the monadic self into the higher self or the causal body or the soul. That, that causal body is also known as the soul and the higher self. And the higher self acts as an intermediary, taking that thought from the monadic self and changing it into form, the appropriate form, in order for the lower vehicle, lower mind, to receive it. And hopefully it, it is received well. And um, it is our job on the spiritual journey, working with the gene keys or whatever you're working with, to purify the thoughts in our mental bodies, emotional bodies enough so that the thinking from the causal body receiving messages from the monadic self comes in clearer and that we can receive clearly what the soul higher self wishes us to know and do. Okay, let's just leave it at that for now. And I think I'll share the Oracle session that I did just about thinking. And I, hopefully I will do this in two parts because I don't want to make the videos too long in case I, I fry your brain. 
<laughs> which wouldn't be a bad thing. Okay, so here I was just, and my questions were all over the place, as you know, I do, what, how I do oracle sessions. Um, but let me just start off. I asked this question later on, but here's the big question. Is the nature of the cosmos of the self, the one self, is the nature of the cosmos or the self to think? Ding, ding, ding. Yes, it is. So once again, give yourself a break for thinking because it is the, it is your true nature to think. Um, and then I, 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 well, my original question was, before I asked that other question was, is the little ego I the thinker? And I got ding, uh, uh, cold, 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 like you're so wrong or, you know, yeah, so wrong. And then I said, asked, is the true self the thinker? Ding, ding, ding. So once again, that's confirming what the other question was. Um, and then let me go back to my notes down here. And then I just asked a variety of questions. They're all over the place, but maybe you'll find some of them interesting, maybe helpful. Okay. Does the lower the lower mind does conditioned thinking? No. Now hold on. You I know you're thinking what? Um is the true self the only thinker? No. The individual mind thinks. Ding ding ding. Okay. So, the true self, the one self is ultimately the thinker, but we also have our causal body, which is an individualized form of the one self projecting down into this realm, which creates a lower mind that does think on its own. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Uh, is there a vast difference between the true self and individual self thinking? Yes, but you need lots more clarification. And then I asked, does the brain think, right? Because you're all wondering, where does this thinking come? Does the brain think? And I got a yes. And I was a little shocked at that, at that, but I could, I could feel, I could feel why the answer was yes. Um, and the answer, the brain thinks in a conditioned way. It is the brain kind of like a computer and, and I look I could be completely wrong this could have been a no I, I'm just sharing what I received and how I'm receiving it um, that the brain does some level of thinking or initiation of thinking based on its really dense conditioned stuff like um I don't know. It sees a tree and it's the word mine. It, it sees, it sees a tree and it says tree or, um, all of our, uh, automatic responses, fear, uh, you, you know, those, those reactions that come before you even think it's like the mind is on autopilot, right? So it has that, like an, like a computer, it sees something and it goes, Oh, I recognize that that's that it knows what to do. Okay almost like hypnotized thinking. Okay, then I ask, does the brain hold the individual mind? No, of course we know that. We know that the mind does not originate from the brain. So this is confirming, you know, some of these questions are confirming that I'm like receiving uh, appropriate answers. Um, the brain is the individual mind, no. The, uh, and then I asked, yeah, brain performs conditioned thinking. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Um, what is thinking? Is it imagination? No. Curious. Is it, so is thinking a creationary impulse? Ding, ding, ding. And impulse is a really important word there. Um, thinking, does thinking have different qualities at different levels? Yes. Um, desire comes before thinking, ding, ding, ding. And then I started asking some things about desire, like des desire, desire is the divine impulse to create the divine impulse to multiply. And I was like, you're, you're asking all the wrong questions, <laughs> go another direction. And then I said, is there something, cause I wanted to get 
what is what is what comes before desire what the desire yeah uh anyway desire comes before thinking and i wanted to know what was coming before desire anyway so i said is there something that initiates desire yes and what i could feel was um you're going beyond the scope of this questioning and your own ability to perceive that answer that's fine um, we think because we wish to create. Yes, but there's more to it. We think because we have desire. No, although desire is the, desire creates the impulse to, to think, but I think there's just some wording issues there. We think because it is the nature of the self looking for itself. Yes. So once again, the thinking that we get, we get caught up in thinking and it is the background of thinking, particularly when we get caught in that hamster wheel of thinking going round and round and round and we can't get out of that loop, is that it is the self initiating that thinking, hoping that someday, instead of going around and round and round and round in circles, you will find your way out of that circle of the lower mind and loop back up into your causal body thinking outside of that loop. So even your crazy thinking is a way of the true self looking for itself, okay? And to me, that just gives me chills. I'm getting chills all over. And so I don't want you to beat yourself up about thinking. Okay, um, and then I asked the lower mind and the brain take over or dominate the true self thinking. Yes, let me see if I want to go any further. Um, yes, the conditioned and lower mind thinking needs to be eliminated. Yes, okay. We will stop there and I will continue on with um, the different qualities of thinking between intuition and clarity. Like, were you ever wondering why wasn't intuition kind of like the highest aspect of this gene key of thinking? Uh, I will answer that for you in the next video. Okay, that's all.